Will AI transform religion? Meet Mindar. Experts say that the rise of artificial intelligence will make our lives better over the next decade, but many are concerned about the advances in AI and how it will affect what it means to be human. It seems like these concerns are real, as AI has started to invade the spiritual domains of mankind. Yes, it's true. In Japan, a Kyoto temple came up with a unique idea to connect AI robots with ancient wisdom. So, in this video, we will take a look at Japan's Buddhist robot preacher, Mindar. Make sure to watch the video until the end, as we will talk about how AI has started to manipulate the human race and how it is changing what we believe in and worship. Mindar is the most advanced religious robot and preaches inside Kodaiji Temple, a 400-year-old temple in Japan. It was created by a team led by Hiroshi Ishiguro. Hiroshi Ishiguro is a roboticist and professor of intelligent robotics at Osaka University. When asked his opinion on a robotic priest, he said, The temple is kind of virtual reality, I think. We have many kind of imaginations about the world hell, and heaven. Therefore, I think that a temple is the best place for studying new types of virtual realities with our technologies. Mindar is kind of an artistic challenge for us. Mindar is mostly an aluminum androgynous robotic priest who is more than 6 feet tall and weighs 70 pounds. Mindar was first introduced in 2019 and made international headlines. It gives plain spoken sermons that are designed to stimulate interest in Buddhist teachings. Mindar is set up in a simple white room with seats for 50 people in dim light. The visitors can witness an interactive 3D projection mapping in the room through an omnidirectional projector. On the wall behind Mindar, a pre-programmed projected person asks Mindar some questions about the Heart Sutra text and then simply answers that question. Like many other of Ishiguro's popular robotic models, Mindar takes a gender-neutral human form. Its appearance is kept to a bare minimum and almost naked, but as an androgynous monk, Mindar had unique features and facial expressions that were designed to evoke both feminine and masculine qualities. The machine is able to move its arm, head, and torso, and they are covered with pasty silicone that resembles human skin. Its left eye includes a tiny video camera. Its plain facial features gives room for visitors to use their own imagination and how they would like the deity to appear. Mindar is actually based on the deity Canon, and according to the Lotus Sutra, Canon can manifest in different forms, whatever forms will best resonate with the humans of a given time and place. Management of the temple says, everything depends on the person who is watching the robot. If someone wants to treat the android man as a man, there will be some elements that represent a male form and vice versa. Mindar's upper part is exposed with aluminum wires, and there is a reason behind it. Creators don't want Mindar to fully look like a human, so it can symbolize the difference between robots and humans. Natasha Heller, an associate professor of Chinese religions at the University of Virginia, said, Mindar's metal skeleton is exposed, and I think it's an interesting choice. Its creator, Hiroshi Ishiguro, is not trying to make something that looks totally like a human. Mindar was also designed by Kohei Ogawa, who is an associate professor at Osaka University. He said, Researchers' goal was to redesign a Buddhist statue using modern robotics technology. The result was a $1 million collaboration between the temple and Osaka University, in which researchers decided that Mindar should channel Canon Bodhisattva, who is Buddhist deity of mercy. Some critics have compared it to Frankenstein's monster because of its half-open cranium with wires blinking lights and spilling. They say it has some resemblance to a Terminator-like villain or the android from Bjork's All Is Love video. But still, Mindar has gone down well with the visitors of the temple, who say it's doing wonders for the spiritual tradition founded by Siddhartha Gautama over 2,500 years ago. Buddhist monk Tensho Goto emphasized the immorality of the android and said, The big difference between a monk and a robot is that we are going to die. Mindar can meet a lot of people and store a lot of information. It will evolve infinitely. He further added, Buddhism isn't a belief in God. It's pursuing Buddha's path. It doesn't matter whether it's represented by a machine, a piece of scrap metal, or a tree. The idea of having a robotic priest came to Goto about 20 years ago. Although, Mindar isn't programmed to have conversations with the visitors, but it does preach, and his sermons can be translated into English and Chinese. The android is programmed to deliver a 25-minute sermon on the Heart Sutra, a Buddhist scripture while moving its torso, arms, and head. It says vaguely in a female voice, You cling to a sense of selfish ego. Worldly desires are nothing than a mind lost at sea. The creator says that the machine incorporated in Mindar isn't equipped with machine learning algorithms and operates on pre-programmed actions, but there may come a day when AI gives the robot some measure of autonomy, which will add a new dimension to how religious messages are delivered. They hope that one day it will provide feedback tailored to individuals for far longer than a human priest could. The chief steward of the temple in Kyoto's Higashiyama ward, Tensho Goto, said, If an image of Buddha speaks, teachings of Buddhism will probably be easier to understand. 
We want people to see the robot and to think about the essence of Buddhism. He further added that AI will never die. It will just keep updating itself and evolving. According to developers, they are motivated to develop a robot to draw the young generation's attention towards religion. It seems like many other religions are also working to attract their followers' attention in this world of technology. In 2017, Indians introduced a robot that performs the Hindu arty rituals. It moves light in a circular motion in front of a deity. Then there's Santo, sanctified theomorphic operator. It is a 17-inch tall robot with a Catholic saint figure. Visitors witness that if you tell the Santo that you are worried, it will then reply, from the gospel according to Matthew, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble on its own. But it seems like Western countries aren't happy with the robot priest. According to reports, some say that the machine exuded an unexpected warmth and day to follow teachings, while many others say that the robot felt unrealistic, artificial, and something that has been forced to create. Mindar first publicly appeared in March 2019 and was displayed on a trial basis till May 2019. Goto said that the people's reaction to Mindar is greatly influenced by their cultural background. He said that Western visitors seem to be more disturbed by a robot priest than Japanese worshippers. They don't think that a robot can fulfill one's spiritual needs. And it was surprising for the management in Japan there as they felt that Western countries are the ones that have embraced robots. It could be the influence of the Bible, but Westerners have compared it to Frankenstein's monster, Goto said. When asked about the mixed reviews from people all over the world, Ogawa said, an android deity isn't a normal experience for the Japanese, and it is still an alien concept. But Japanese people don't carry stereotypical things when it comes to robots and don't hold any prejudices. He laughed and said, Japanese think, oh, what happened here? and just accept it. Seeing the robotic priest, one of the Buddhist priests said, science and Buddhism are not opposing or contradicting and can be combined and mutually compatible. Buddhists should not only seek enlightenment through daily learning, meditation, and cultivation to gain positive energy from Buddhist doctrine, they should also contribute more to society by transforming their own gains, kindness, compassion, and wisdom to others through the internet and new media. So, according to Buddhists, Mindar is a perfect tool to preserve and pass on Buddhist teachings to the next generation. They will die one day, but their teachings will remain in this world forever. They want AI to be incorporated into Mindar as it will help Buddhists to teach Mindar more about religion. Goto said that he wanted to see Mindar as one of the most influential teachers in the world. So, this brings our video to an end. What do you guys think about the robot priest? Would you go to a sermon held by a robot? It's cool, but weird, right? Are we really dependent on AI to this extent? Will AI eventually become a god? Tell us in the comment section below. We always love to read your comments. Thank you for watching.